Blazes. Thank Blazes. you. We're going live. Have a good show. Thank you. Bye. Have a good show. <laughs> Hello, everyone out there on the internet. Uh, thank you for joining me. My name's Dan. I'm here at the beautiful Sellersville Theater in the sound booth. Look at the way the, the lights of the soundboard look uh, through our new cameras. I'm so excited. Um, I'm very excited to be here with you. Of course, this is Sound Booth Sessions, our weekly live stream show where we feature a concert and a conversation with one of our favorite acts. I'm very excited for this evening's show. But before I introduce them, I don't know if you've been counting at home, but this is actually the 10th episode of Sound Booth Sessions. Very exciting. Uh, when I started this at the beginning of the quarantine, um, I didn't really know what to expect. Didn't, didn't think that we would be doing... Uh, uh, this many of them. I didn't realize that they would ever look or sound as nice as this. It was just a, a, an experiment. Just an experiment to try to familiarize myself with the uh, with the technology. And um, it's it's been a learning process. Um, I, I want to give a quick thank you to uh, my buddy Mark Register, who's been a, a technical consultant for this whole time. He's taught me uh, a whole lot about cameras and about live streaming, and we've come a long way. Um, what else did I want to say? Um, let's see. Um, yes, yeah, so tonight uh, I'm, we're really pushing the technology uh, envelope as far as we pushed it before. Um, for anyone familiar with, with live streaming, um, we are using a program called OBS, which is a, a free software that brings uh, multiple video and audio feeds together in a computer for free. And, uh, and then you can use it to you know, move the camera sources around and, and make a bunch of, you know, do a bunch of cool stuff and then send it out uh, to Facebook or whatever live streaming platform you're using. And uh, recently, OBS and Skype started playing nicely together where you could bring your Skype conversations into OBS as a video source. And so today and tonight, we are trying something new. Uh, and it is probably the most I've ever asked of my computer at one time. Um, so I'm, I'm hoping it doesn't explode during tonight's uh, broadcast. So right now we, we're going to cut over to our our band. We have a wonderful band joining us all the way from Chicago. They're called the Empty Pockets. They are in uh, their home studio. They each are in their own room within their studio. Uh, they have a sound engineer on their side uh, who is mixing their audio. So we're going to get a full band concert. And they each have their own camera. And each of those is coming into OBS. And so I'm going to... We're going to be switching uh, between the cameras over here. It should be cool. It's going to be crazy. I'm excited about it. Um, OK, so that's what's going to happen tonight. Uh, I'm very excited to introduce uh, the Empty Pockets. As I said, they're from Chicago. You've seen them on our stage a number of times with Al Stewart and with Bob Schneider. They're a ton of fun. They do, uh, they do their own live stream every Wednesday from their Facebook page at 3 p.m. I think at Central Time, they'll they'll confirm that later. Guys, is it 3 p.m. Central Time? Central Time. Central yeah. Time, because, of course, Chicago. Um, and, uh, and season two of their live stream show will begin on July 15th. They have a new album that's going to be coming out someday. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so I'm sure we'll, we'll hear a few of those songs tonight. I can't wait to hear them. And now, put your... Get your get your uh, get your uh, clickers hovering over the like button and get ready to click feverishly. Uh, remember, of course, that your <laughs> shh shh quiet back there. Uh, remember, of course, that your likes and your comments and of course your donations are very important tonight. Uh, very valuable to me and to the band. So uh, in just a moment, you'll have all of their information up on the screen. And please be as generous as you can. There is a $20 suggested donation for this evening's show. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in welcoming all the way from Chicago, Illinois, the Empty Pockets. Oh my. 
Goodness, folks, that's the empty pockets. Hi, everybody. <laughs> hey, guys. Hey, dude. How are nice you? Nice to see you, man. <laughs> nice hey, to see on. you through the through the magic of the internet. So far, you everything's making, working out great. You're oh, making good. some Shh. good faces that I, I think were related to music. I had <laughs> some serious funky bass face going on. I was like, <laughs> oh, yeah. I love the stank face. Oh yeah. Mm, 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 so mm. Uh, it's, it's good to be with you, man. It is so nice to have you here. Let's go around. Uh, uh, c- uh, we'll, I'll go clockwise on the screen from the bottom. That's oh. that's uh, that's Josh playing guitar. We have Adam on the drums. We got Nate playing bass and Erica singing vocals and playing keys. The empty pockets guys so good to have you on the show i want to let you know we got a lot of love for you in the comments section russ nelson says hello from seattle what up russ Russ. shirley anderson from spokane Oh. Wow, wow. Spokane, you guys, I Spokane. 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 Spokane, is that, is that Spokane? Uh, no, we, we, we argue about oh, city yeah. pronunciations pretty consistently. I understand. Like Wilkes-Barre, Wilkes-Barre, sure. Wilkes-Barre, who Wilkes-Barre, who knows? Wilkes-Barre, whatever it is, who knows? We, we, may, we may never know. Barry we Solomon. It's Sellersville, though, right? It's not like Sellersville. Sellersville, Ooh. that is correct. A lot of people say <laughs> sell, <laughs> Sellerville, but that's not right. Um, mm. Adam, what are you watching back there? <laughs> Uh, this is actually I'm pandering to the crowd. I've got th- this is a Philadelphia suburb, correct? So it I've is. got a, a Phillies hat on. Yo, you do have and a I'm Phillies hat. Oh, uh, shameless clips of the Villanova. I think that's the oh. 2016 oh. championship. I'm a Big East basketball fan. Excellent. So well, thank you for Go doing Villanova. that. We appreciate the love. Now you guys are are w- joining us from all the way from Chicago, um, and you're in your own home studio. So how is this working? Like what? What do you have Black going on? Magic. What do you have going on over there that we're able to do this? Um, so, There's how many rooms. rooms in your studio? Let's say that we got three rooms. We're here on North Avenue in Chicago. Okay, we got three little rooms and a storefront. Yeah, and I uh, I've cabled it all up with uh, some snakes, uh-huh. some passive splitters, <laughs> yeah, some creativity. Those right. are uh, technical terms. And then we yeah. used our in-ear system to go the other direction to monitor ourselves. I it's see. quite complex. What's going on in yes. here? Yes. No kidding. And then we but it's working. And then we integrated because what we have going on is fairly complex. 
And, that's and I want everyone to know it only took 30 seconds. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> yeah, we haven't been here very late at night for the last two days <laughs> trying yeah. to sort to bang this up. It was a breeze. Yeah. Well, listen, it's so great to have you guys here. It, it's, it's so nice to do this. You've been doing a ton of great streaming on your own. And when, when I was trying to figure this out, I watched some of your stuff and was like, oh, these cats have it figured out. So <laughs> when did you start streaming? Uh, you know, I don't know how you felt, man. And With Erica. trepidation? You, the, so the, the lockdown yeah. hits, right? Yeah. The quarantine hits, like, right. March 17th. And I think for, like, five days, I couldn't process anything. I right? cried a lot. It was right. just, like, m life's over, touring's over, you had all these dates. And maybe yeah. five or six days into it, I think we were like, okay, let's rebuild our career now. Right. Let's figure it out. <laughs> and it was really bad at first. In fact, it's sort of fun now to go back into, like, our early... Um, April streams because and we're the messing a everything up. The <laughs> AV growing pains have been very yeah. real. Yeah, yeah. I, I posted, I did a stream to Twitch where I, literally my video was upside down. <laughs> like it was such a classic noob <laughs> move where like it just didn't, I, I don't know right. how that happened. I think we did a 14 second blank stream to YouTube <laughs> to which somebody <laughs> commented, why? Why? Right. Well, and look Why at not? us now. Look at us now. Look at us now. Here we are. And there's and there's so much so much farther we could go. Actually, I mean, now that we've done this, we keep talking like, about that. Yeah. How how far this could go? The it's, question it's is, amazing. how many more dollars on how many more adapters? <laughs> well, <laughs> cables and ad I can't tell you how many invoices I've submitted for cables <laughs> and adapters. Cables and adapters. Yes. It's unbelievable. Okay, so so this is your home studio. Was it? It was it was wired prior to. The quarantine? The, the, just the middle room was wired. Okay. And now we use, we, we just work out of here. And so we okay. do all, ship all our CDs. And, and so the back room's like storage. And, and the, the front middle, room's like an office. The middle room's like recording slash uh, rehearsal space. Got so it. now the whole thing's a recording studio. <laughs> all right. And so now how, so if you guys are, are, I guess, essentially quarantining together, but in separate rooms, how, has, has the quarantine, um, how's it been on your creative output? Like, are you... Oh, practicing Josh all the writing. time and are you writing and what are you doing what have you been doing this whole time i'm writing a ton, a ton. and yeah. i think adam can speak to how it's changed our creative output i know it's probably affected you the most in terms of like not being able to see directly you know as a drummer the rhythmic stuff because even though we're we're in real time it's weird yeah it's weird but it's not really been that stifling it's so been, you can't you know, see each other you're not there's no glass or anything between the rooms no, oh, no, so we have like Zoom or Skype open, which is a little delayed, so you get a little bit, uh -huh. but it's strange. So right. it's mostly, you know, the audio is perfect. It's right. it's very odd. But you just can't and see we turn it. off our air conditioners because so the that sound is kind of noisy. <laughs> and uh, now I'm sweating. Right. I brought I brought Josh um, paper towels for the future of this show, so I'm <laughs> hoping that will be okay. Very good. Sweat away. So um, so I know that you've been working on a new album. Did you do that in this studio? Is this a studio? Absolutely. We've been recording in this studio since 2014. Uh, we have, we've recorded five Billboard charting albums in this inside this wow. little studio. Wow, seriously? Unreal. We seriously wow. have, yeah. That's an impressive uh, stat. Yeah, it's pretty cool. And our, our, our Daniel, another Daniel, McCormick, is sitting at the soundboard, my cousin, and he uh, engineered all those albums as well, I believe, in this studio. Um, so, it's it's so, so you guys have another Daniel sound guy on your side of the internet. Yeah, Otherwise known as Jux. We have two oh. Daniels on faders today. I think we're going to oh, have gonna Oh, he's going to peek. He's got to peek. He's going to give us a peek. I don't know if we're going to have to fight to the death. Um, <laughs> oh, hey. But I know that guy. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Dan. Well, very good. All right, so will, will we get to hear some uh, some new stuff from, from this new love, record? I would love to share it with you. I would oblige you, I guess. You know, you know, I'll oblige you because I really miss the Sellersville Theater. Oh, aren't you sweet? <laughs> In fact, uh, Daniel, this first tune. Uh, I think our new album is going to be called Maybe Next Time. We don't know. But this t tune is definitely called Maybe Next Time. Okay. And it's about the next... I always... Every time we do a gig, I imagine what, when we come back to this place, maybe it'll be, like, epic. Maybe, maybe the line will be around <laughs> the corner. Maybe... We'll be so famous by the time we get back. So this is about the next time we play your area or any area. I can't wait. The next time we sell out that long, beautiful Sellersville Theater. Sellersville Theater. Oh. I'm wondering if Tina Pastor is taking pictures of this live oh. stream right now. Tina Pastor has commented many times already. She says she's clapping. She says you're one of her favorite bands that she's ever seen here. No. 
the Sellersville Theater. Oh, yeah, baby. Maybe next time. Oh. Come on. Say so what now? When we played the Sellersville Theater, Bob Schneider was talking about the local telecom arena. That's what we want to play next time we're in town. Maybe next time we all get, get together, together, we'll sell 10,000 10, seats. That's right. The radio plays in the afternoon days. It's wearing out our song. Somehow folks know all the words. Everybody's singing along. Maybe next time. Maybe next time. Maybe next time. Maybe next time. Sing it. Maybe next time we get together, we'll write all the wrong. That's nice. So that's going to be on the new record. Maybe next time. Oh, yeah. yeah. Out Maybe some next time it'll be on the next release. Yeah, Sometime. we hope this year, but I don't know. I don't know. Everything's so weird. Tell me, what are you, um, is there like a global uh, theme for this album? Like, are you thinking about anything in particular as you're, write, as you're writing and recording this album? You know, it's album? funny, man. It, ch it changed because we, it had some interesting elements to it. Like one of the songs on it, we've been touring with Al Stewart. Okay. Who's who's big on lyrics? So I wrote a song, kind of inspired by him, called "Tense Car Tab Confrontation," which was Al's all about using words that no one else would use. The spelling of that is T E N S, as in Sam E. Yeah, tense. like tense, tense, like intense. And then like a bar tab, but a for your vehicle. It's actually a, that that's a tense a car tab tense confrontation. Car tab confrontation. I have no idea what that means. Awesome. Right. I love that. I actually saw it as a, uh, a headline on the local news <laughs> while we were touring in Seattle. Tense, car, tab, confrontation. Oh, wow. And I was just thought, thought to myself, wow, those are lyrics that Al would like. And I said them to him, and he said, oh, yes, I do like those. But my <laughs> point is, it's, it's <laughs> changed. Uh, since the quarantine exactly started, like it that. does. I've been writing up a storm, and now the songs sound a little more political. They sound a little bit more about... Uh, well, current state of the world. I have a new one called quarantine, and a new one called pandemic, and, and a new one called masks. <laughs> and a new one so called masks. It's changed. Like the new one's gonna. So the album now is gonna be. A, I think. W do you agree with this, Air? We just write about life. I think as an artist, all you can do is respond to what's happening around you, sure. and a lot of times that's inward focused. But you literally would not function if you couldn't also process the rest. So um, that's what we're doing. You know, but I hope it's a, a triumphant. You know, return. I hope that we can release the album, and not too long after we can tour. We—that's what we do. We're a touring yeah. live band, so yeah. this has felt very strange. And like the steak is really good over there. <sighs> and the salad uh, at uh, Sellersville. Uh, like, why is ooh, the, dressing? the dressing? Baby. Like, why yeah. can't I get that dressing here in <laughs> Chicago? Somebody listen. It's and the best like touring meal in the. Are business. you referring to the Close. balsamic vinaigrette? Is that the one that you're? Referring no, the to? creamy garlic one. The creamy garlic, creamy. my friend. Okay. You know what? I like well. to mix them both together. <laughs> Oh God, that's oh. so delicious! I'm oh, I'm really? salivating. I've never even thought to try that. Yeah. Well, yeah, anyway. I think Sellersville's number one, number one, because uh, <laughs> number one tour food in is Seattle. Seattle. Right? Number two, yeah. Oh, well, I'll tell you what, I I will definitely get back to the food in a little in a, in a, in a moment because I want to oh, ask great. you some questions about that. But folks, I will uh, folks at home, if you want to find out about this new album when it comes out, make sure you hit up the socials uh, down there in the corner. If I'm pointing in the right direction. Uh, everything is very conveniently at the empty pockets. I just love that consistency across Thank your you. branding. Uh, everything, all of the links, we got PayPal, Venmo, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, all of the things at the empty Um Guys, I want to tell you one of the things that really stands out to me about you is your ability to harmonize. And I just absolutely love it. I uh, Will your new album be featuring uh, a lot of your gorgeous two and three part harmonies you are too sweet oh, it would not be an empty pockets album without a plethora a s more more than a plethora 
of harmonies. Yeah, I think we're we, we got a lot. Good. I have a lot like, of harmonies. I Good. just want to write a harmony all the time. Sometimes they're like, Erica, you can't sing harmony on that. And I'm like, I get it, but I want to. <laughs> so you know, and there's a more there's more Nate too. We're trying to okay, good. Uh, give Nate a little love. Bass player Nate on, on the vocal. Is. Good. That's oh, that, look at that. Look at that guy. He sounds beautiful. Um, so I, I have a question. I know uh, Josh and Erica, you two are married. Correct. So Nate and Adam. Yes. How are things going, by the way? How how long has it been? Wow, how oh. are things going? We've been together 14 years and married for seven. Isn't well, you did wow. that math really fast. Isn't that I was weird? I was like having to calculate. That's Very nice. That's not weird. I love it. So That's good. I want to know, did you fall in love first or find out you could harmonize first? Harmonize, like Simultaneous. Was yeah, like actually same moment. That was probably like, a... That was probably a uh, 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 it was like a whole new world moment. We, yeah. we hit a chord because we met in a musical uh, in the Buddy Holly story. Okay. And the real moment we fell in love. Wait, let me see if I can think of what it what it was for me for real. <laughs> okay, yeah, here it is. Okay. It's when Erica says, "I had, I said I can't do this scene change. I can't get in my. I was Buddy Holly in this musical with this guitar, and I said I can't do this change quick enough. Somebody's got to tune my guitar." And Erica looks around, and she says, "I'll tune it." And then she, the moment I fell in love, maybe it was when she handed me the guitar and I went on stage and it was perfect. Oh, how sweet. Exactly in tune. I don't know if I've ever heard that story. <laughs> she could harmonize <laughs> and good. tune a guitar and sing her ass off and play the keys. Yep. She's got everything. Excellent. Thanks, Oh, guys. that's a beautiful thing. I'm blushing. Oh, that's a wonderful thing. And then now, how does Nate factor in? Like, do you, oh, like, gosh. I mean, how, when, when question. you guys are, are getting together to, to, uh, to write a song, like, how does the, how does the harmonizing happen is it a is it an organic thing where you just kind of all fall into place or is no eric is just in charge. part writing wouldn't you say you Nate? <laughs> say, is it like the michael jackson thing where he like t sings everybody's part until they learn May it? tell him oh yeah, yeah that, it's that thing yeah. yeah she's she's a um i would say because her eyes are upon me that she is a stern but fair taskmaster <laughs> and of course i definitely am not in danger for my life <laughs> Blink twice if you need help, Nate. <laughs> Send help. Um, She's no, good at it, but she yeah. is mean about it. Hey, guys, I was in a college a cappella group, which nobody knew about until Pitch Perfect came out. Hey, Daniel, so. have you seen so Pitch Perfect? I. Yes, and I sang oh. it a cappella. Erica was in that Daniel, group. Daniel, what like, group were you in? Uh, I was in, you were uh, in an a cappella group? I was in an a cappella group called The Voices of Adam. Uh, I was the vocal percussionist and the bass singer <gasps> at times. Did you wear a microphone <laughs> on your <laughs> chest? <laughs> no, I just... <laughs> Yeah, yeah, you just got to get really close to the microphone. That was my. Oh, yeah, yeah. I don't have good mic technique. So, what was your what was your Pitch Perfect story? Um, I was in the University of Illinois Rip Chords. And Pitch Perfect is and partially based on that group. The girl Excellent. who now runs the the woman. We're, um, I'm a 38. She's the same age. Um, the woman who now runs the international championship of collegiate acapella went to the University of Illinois and was a member of an University of Illinois a cappella groups, and she was interviewed extensively for the movie and does appear in it. And so I oh, truly amazing. believe, since we were the sassy all-female a cappella group. Erica was in the all-female a cappella group on campus. Uh, I'm, mm -hmm. I'm pretty convinced it was written about the ripcords. What Excellent. character would you be from Pitch Perfect then? I heard that mm -hmm. they couldn't find someone s who could sing well enough to play the Erica role, <laughs> is what I heard. I'm That's the what Brit you heard? You heard I, heard I think yeah. I'm the Britney Snow Britney You're the Britney Snow? Oh, my notes. <laughs> <laughs> well, listen. It, in, in a tribute to your harmonizing, could I throw s throw s a curveball at you? Could I request yes. um, uh, hear your voice? Would you? Could you sing that? Yes, definitely. It's got us? some harmony. Yeah. All right. Oh, thank you. Regular key. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Do it in the regular key for us, please, if you don't mind. <laughs> regular way. Regular Every way. Every once in a while, I change stuff like that, and Erica doesn't like. <laughs> hey, bro. One, two. I hear a voice in the distance, faint but true. I hear a voice unmistakably, it's you. I hear a voice trapped and alone, but we'll take you home. Too late. 
until the darkness closed and forced him into searching for her by the sound she made. I hear a voice in the distance make it true. I hear a voice unmistakably it's you. Yes, it's you. I hear a voice so pure and free. Are you singing to me? He thought the missing clothes with all his mind For any song she sang I hear a voice in the distance made for true I hear a voice unmistakably it's you Yes, it's you I hear a voice trapped and alone But we'll take you home song thank you for playing it <laughs> you're so that welcome thank great. you for requesting tell me tell me about that real quick where did that song come from where what what, what was that about we I think uh, I was on vacation. no no we tour we tour all the time we toured to colorado we used to play this place called the little bear oh yeah really really amazing uh club willie nelson used to play dave mason al stewart and uh, they have they used to have like a thousand bras hanging from the ceiling crazy, yep. okay. crazy place <laughs> And one of the bonuses of playing there was, like, they gave you a house for the night, which is wow. very unusual. And oh, wow. so, like, you got, like, a little three-bedroom cabin. And sometimes they gave it to us the night before, which was, like, a big money saver. And it was a, it's a real log yeah. cabin. Yeah, so they'd feed you in the cabin and everything. So we're in the cabin, and I lose Erica for, like, an hour. And, or maybe it was 10 minutes, but <laughs> I, I don't know how long it Colorado. was. But I was like, <laughs> what is she doing? And Erica's, like, really prone to, like... <laughs> Injury or like, you know, like this, this is fair. This is a fair. So statement. I was like, oh god, Erica's like in a gulch somewhere. My family's always like, do not uh, ride a bike, please. And she comes back, like she had gone for a walk with Nate or something. And I was like, I wasn't worried about you, Nate. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. <laughs> I was like, Nate's doing something. He's making muffins. Yeah, I'm not making muffins. Erica's baby. doing. Erica comes back, and that like stuck with me. We got home from that tour, and I wrote that song, and it was about like me imagining finding her a different way. Mm. Whereas like she's lost I'm in the and mountains. she's singing. Oh, wow. She doesn't even know she's getting lost. And I imagined like having to track her down from the echoes of her voice through the mountains. And it Beautiful. wouldn't be strange for me to be singing alone in the mountains so and like you forget about time and then it gets too dark that, and that it's this beautiful area called evergreen colorado which is the foothills of the mm. rockies and there's it's a very picturesque town with a lake right in the middle you had a nice book read there once and i just it, I, it was probably 10 minutes and i remember thinking i can't call erica's mother and say i lost her <laughs> on tour i can't, can't do this no you can't well it's a beautiful song thank you for playing it which album is that yeah. off of is that the 10 so album called yes the uh, Ten Cent Tour. The in fact, the, tour. the reason it's called the Ten Cent Tour is we built, uh, we had our little album budget, like all indie bands have, whatever it is. Two dollars. Uh, way, way too much money, though. It's always like, how much freaking money is that going to be? Oh and the, the guy's like, I'm a professional. Like, this is a $100,000 soundboard. So we're like, okay, forget all that. It, it, it's too much pressure. You know, Erica gets in the studio with this beautiful voice, and then you're like, oh, I'm nervous. I'm not feeling it. We're not going to get the vocal My I allergies want. are bad today, whatever. So instead, we just, like, bought a few simple pieces of equipment and then recorded an entire album like onto a 
desktop Mac, right? Mm -hmm. And so we called it like the ten cent tour, as in like the 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 dime tour of our studio. Yeah. yeah. Like and so it's it's produced like pretty simple, I think that that album before we got more equipment. Uh, Dan the other Daniel Jux here. He, he, he has his own X32 that comes here now. Like, there's fancier equipment these days. Sure. But that was, like, the most bare-bones album we could make. What was pretty cool was we were literally, um, you know, we're the Empty Pockets, and that's a lifestyle. <laughs> and uh, we were literally leveraging, like, birthday gifts. Oh, yeah, the computer was wedding. my birthday gift from my father, I think. I Thanks, think, Dad. I think we got some mics for our wedding. Yeah, we got mic oh, a mic for our awesome. wedding. Oh, that's awesome. What great. Yeah. You registered at uh, Sweetwater. We, <laughs> yeah, we, it was yeah. an expensive mic. It was an MA200, a really nice. They should do that. We they should do a it. wedding registry. Yeah. We use it regularly. Yeah, we really should. We still use it. Well, what? actually, I just I just looked it up real quick, and it is also on your most recent album, the live one. Uh, oh, that's not oh, it. There you go. Uh, there it is, the Empty Pockets live in Seattle, folks at, uh, at home. It's on your screen, um, which of course is available at all the online distributors. Uh, we've absolutely all, with the first few songs we heard, the grind and fill it up, were off Tanglewoods, and uh, and I and, and then there's another album from uh, called Voices, which I, which I guess. Um, are we g we're going to hear some songs from Voices, right? We are. Right, they're coming up, I think. Okay, mm -hmm. so anyway, I just put those up on the screen so when people go looking for them, uh, they know what they're looking for. Friends at home, thank you for clicking. Thank you for commenting. Uh, a lot of applause, guys, in, in the comment section. Um, Robbie Fisher, hashtag salad dressing. <laughs> 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 Jonathan Rosenbaum, the Empty Pockets are the hardest working band in showbiz. Ah, they you, sure are. Stephanie Lynn has been here for every episode, and she says, a band who can out-talk Dan. Wow, never thought I'd hear that. So, <laughs> She knows us. She got our number so fast. Dan, I, I long for the day to have a long in-person conversation. <laughs> I know. This in-person will we'll make it happen sometime very soon. Let's uh, let's go back to the music, guys. What what uh, what are you gonna play for us next? This was written in Erica's grandparents' house while we had no home. Erica and I, we were living wherever we could. Yeah. And I was thinking about uh, Erica and I, and I was thinking about Nate and his uh, at the time soon to be wife Danielle. And this song came out. So alive. 
Oh, another beautiful song. That one was off of Voices, an album by The Empty Pockets. Friends at home, please visit uh, The Empty Pockets online. Uh, down at the social links down below. Uh, the first two being the most important, of course, there's PayPal. There's Venmo. Ooh. Ooh. You know this show is worth your financial support. Hit them up. Let's, uh, let's fill those pockets, shall we? Guys, Ooh. how many times has somebody said that joke? Every <laughs> single time. We l- I never get tired of it. I never <laughs> tire of it. Oh, I like a joke where someone's giving me money. That's cool. <laughs> that's, that's Even a good theoretically. Joke. Theoretical joke money, that's cool with me. That's I more joke money it. than I've ever had. We okay. are rich in theoretical money. Yes, and there's a, there a $20 suggested donation, so please keep that in mind. If you have the ability to give more, please do. And, of course, if that would be a burden, don't worry about it. Get yourself some food and <laughs> take care of yourself. We um, always say that, Daniel. Don't, don't, don't worry about it. Like, just don't, 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 don't do it. it. Yeah, just don't. If you can't afford it, don't Be stress. Cool. Don't it's stress. Don't. We're here. We're here for yeah. you. Enjoy. So, uh, guys, I'm going to ask you to uh, participate in a in a recurring segment that we do on uh, uh, the here on Sound Booth Sessions. Um, because if there's one thing I've learned that uh, musicians love more than music... It's food. So I have a few questions for you, if you're game, um, th- that are about kind of your relationship with food. Um, and I call this segment, Tell Me Something, Tell Me Something Food. All right, band, hit it. Tell me oh, something sorry. food. Wait, wait I'll take, take two. Count take it. two. A one, two, three, mm. four. Tell me something food. Oh, that has to happen every single time. Thank you, guys. All right, so uh, the empty pockets. My question for you is, what uh, what food items are on your hospitality rider that you absolutely must have in order to play a good show? <laughs> we got to start with Adam. Adam remembers a lot of food stuff, including he claims to still remember, and he's proven it many times every lunch <laughs> the band has ever had on tour. Uh, Adam, wh- what's our most important hospitality rider, man? What's our most important item? Uh, we aren't too picky. If it's an Al Stewart show, there's got to be cold Chardonnay. Three bottles young, from California, <laughs> preferably no fresh. older than two years old. And, uh, no and usually Kit Kats. British Kit Kats. British, British Kit Kats. British Kit Kats. Kat- 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 Why British and not American? What's different? They the, use better dairy in, so their, much better. in their chocolate. Better chocolate. But we only got that at the, in the UK when we were there. Can we start we don't putting demand that? that here. We should, though. So the reality um. is we don't really have specific foods in our rider. But when we were in the UK, one of our rider things that like just ended up on the rider, I think it's on Al's rider, is you got like a sandwich loaf and sandwich meats and oh. condiments. Uh-huh. And when we were in the UK, we were such empty pockets, like live in live in life that we would take that home every night and stock up the pantry and just like make sandwiches at midnight, yeah, at midnight. Yeah. 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 a little context for, for you daniel our, our last tour uh before the quarantine was the a, a full month in the uk in october and the way we talked al stewart's management into it was we said instead of hotels which will cost like forty thousand mm-hmm. dollars we'll get like a ten thousand dollar airbnb for the the whole time Oh for, wow! In Oxford, which is in the middle, and, so and drive everywhere. And then you just it's great. Yeah, and Correct. England's like the size of Illinois. Wow! So we just drove everywhere. What a great idea! It was that awesome. is it was so great. fun. Baller, well done. It was life changing. Yeah. Okay, well, uh, very good. Uh, uh, I enjoyed that. Um, okay, may I move on? Next question. Uh, yep. mm-hmm. Let's go around again in the circle. Um, what? S- what kitchen skill or recipe are you have you learned during this quarantine? That's great. Let's go to Nate. Nate, Ooh. take it away. Starting. Oh, uh, let's see. Kitchen skill. You know, I've really uh, I had started to uh, explore all my bread stuff um, beforehand because uh-huh. Josh is quite the baker. Okay. And so, like Adam I too. Ex- and as is Adam, we're actually a, we're a band of bakers and cooks. Bakers oh, and crazy. baseball. That's what we do. We do ba- baseball and we do baking. Yeah, so true. I like expanded all of that, but then I also uh, uh, delved into Indian cooking. Oh, oh yeah. us too. And so I've started making like some dal makhni, and um, I got like a couple of different masalas, and like I'm learning stuff, and it turns out I don't know anything. Do you have one of those Indian. like spice tins? Do you know about the spice tins? No. What is this of which you speak? Oh, it's uh, well. I I mean, I'm not one to s- 
really I'm not an expert, but there's like a, a, a particular type of spice tin that you pull it off and mm. it's got it's a large tin that yeah, holds Indian a bunch food of has like a tins. zillion spices. Yeah, yeah, I wish I wish someone had told me because I spent like maybe thirty five dollars on just like ooh, a jar of cardamom or whatever. Right. And that's like six so expensive, you know? expensive ones. <laughs> Ari and I um have upped our freezer game. Yeah. And oh, do tell what I've does that mean? Fermenting shrubs. Oh yeah, we've been fermenting and freezing. So like We've been taking, like, if you eat a, a thing of strawberries and then, yeah. like, you usually cut the tops off. Like the holes. So we started, like, keeping that type of thing uh-huh. and using it for stuff. So a shrub is, like, a vinegar and fruit syrup that you make with a two-week fermentation with hot vinegar and various fruit or herbs. And then we use that to, like, both. make a gin and tonic or something later. Wow. So it's been cool. Like, you eat the strawberries and then you save the... Outer parts of the strawberries, and that makes the shrub. So, we, what about what about you, Adam? That's what seems up your alley. Ma- saving the stuff. I know you save the tops of we, onions. Yeah, we do that w- to make veggie stuff. Yeah, we do that too. Yeah. In okay. quarantine, we've also upped our baking game. Like our our local grocery store ran out of yeast, so we we had to oh experiment no. with fresh yeast and active yeast. And instant, we're we're qu- constantly looking up conversion charts because like <laughs> we've had. They're out of one and yeah. right. not the other. Right. So it's been a or lot of baking. sourdough. We've been doing sourdough because the yeast shortage. Yeah. Right. There yeah. you go. Using yeah. a starter. Yeah. Excellent. Wow. You yep. guys are you, serious. Serious, <laughs> serious over yeah. there. Yeah. Yeah. Serious. Yeah. All My right. parents own a restaurant. Well, oh, that's nice. What what kind of restaurant? It's called Norton's, and it's like uh, it's like sort of like Cheers. It's like burgers and salads and pizza. Everybody and knows your name. Everybody knows your Is name. Is it in Chicago? It's in Highland Park, Illinois. Highland Just Park, north Illinois. of Chicago. Yeah. All right, it's like well. the Sellersville of Chicago. <laughs> the Sellersville. Oh my god, it is like the Sellersville. It is like the Sellersville. Do they have a do they have a little venue with a restaurant and a hotel? It's close. Very close I mean, to there. My dad actually Excellent. is sort of a little venue. Yeah. So it's fun. So it's Excellent. cool. Excellent. Well, very nice. Okay. Next question. Um, what is your go to recipe if you're trying to impress someone? I know what yours is. What's mine? Your, your fillet of beef tenderloin. Oh yeah. Oh dude, it's way too expensive. It's so expensive. You go to the the butcher and you get yourself a fillet of beef tenderloin. It's like long. And it's just a very nerve wracking thing to do because it's hundred something dollars. It's eighty dollars. Yeah. And if you screw it up, you feel so bad. Uh-huh. But well, I've you've been, never screwed I know, it up. So I do this crazy reverse sear because it's so expensive and I want to screw it up. So I bake it for like two hours or on three like hours on like two oh five. And it's all red and perfect. And then I sear it for like uh, five minutes. My dad and my stepmom, Luda, came over for Christmas last year. And she's a really good cook. And she was like impressed and frustrated. She was, <laughs> like, she was like, this is the best. It was this so good. frustratingly good. I made like a horseradish. That's what I made. Horseradish cream sauce from scratch with the grated Assuming horseradish. Assuming that you are trying to impress somebody enough that you're willing to spend some money. Oh, um, that's, yeah, that's solid. That, Serious. It, it's so good. That's My recipe serious. would probably be carrot cake. Oh, yeah, yours is good. Adam, good what one. do you make for somebody impressive? Pizza. 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 Yeah. You, do, you bake, do you make your own dough? Oh, yeah. Yeah, m- most of the time. I, you can get good pizza dough, but yeah, yeah I do, I, we make a lot of pizza I've dough. I've got a dough rising at home right now for tomorrow. Nice. Wonderful. Nice. Yeah. Overnight? That's what she Are you, said. you baking it tonight, or is it an overnight <laughs> rise? It's an overnight, overnight rise. It's one of those low yeast. Very, Very nice. good. Yeah. Low Very yeast, nice. no yeads. I love it. <laughs> Cure that pastry. Cure, low yeast. Cure that Letting dough. it sit. All right, what about you, Nate? Uh, you know, the recipe that I used most recently to impress um, basically all of my wife's family is my, my mashed potatoes, mm. um, because I'm not afraid to homemade make mashed potatoes all the way through the process. Give it the butter, my friend. Oh, give, it, so much. give it the butter. You know, you Do use, use butter a rice, sir? or sour cream. Now, it depends on the potato. Oh. Sometimes I will use a rice, like sometimes a rice I'll use a oh masher. Oh, my goodness. Okay. And like you know, you explore the different the the three major different potatoes the mm-hmm. the super starchy, the midway, and the super waxy, and what you can do with yeah. the different. So that's You're usually into it. Oh, that's I'm, more than I know about yeah. potatoes. Do you I'm, have a favorite? I'm crazy into mashed potatoes. Do you have a favorite? We we went ro- we oh. went hard on Yukon Gold for for oh, a yeah. minute. I mean, is yeah. you know it's a good what mashable. else? Like what? The best one that I ever made. I took red potatoes. Uh, I boiled them until they were like real loose, and then I ran them through a sieve. Mm. And got them like uh, even thinner oh. that you can get it with a ricer, and then just basically mixed in an even amount of butter. 
and it was the most disgustingly Heart good, heart-stopping thing that, like that I've ever French had in my style. life. French style. It was. Good. It was. It was like an imitation of a French style, and I was like, "Oh <laughs> yes, we can't do this anymore." No. Oh That's my god, this so is good. dark magic. Guys, <laughs> I'll tell you what, guys and gal, th- this has been a wonderful uh, round of tell me something food. Thank you for participating. Now play us out of here. One, two, three, four. Tell me something good. All right, thank you. All right, let's uh, let's get some more empty pockets tunes. Let, would you just do a few in a row? Would you? Can you do two in a row? Sure, sure. we sure can. First song I ever wrote for Erica. 
I called it You're the One, and she literally kicked me out of her apartment. <laughs> That's it is a good call, call probably. <laughs> it was our second date. <laughs> it may not be right. No, I could be wrong. But maybe tonight I'll write you a song. There ain't no answer And no cure I could find To get your sweet fragrance Out of my mind I make mistakes From a certain point of view Oh, you do I'm really sorry If I make them round you Dry all my tears. You're the one to banish all my fears, baby. You're the one that in my life's plot may be. You are the one, maybe not. It isn't your beauty. It sure ain't that small, no. It isn't those doe eyes that been staring at me all the while. No, it isn't your soft touch, nor your lips a whispering so. That make me feel breathless and reckless. Make me glow, yeah. Come around again, your my mistakes, I'll make a few. Why you don't touch it? Uh, maybe <laughs> you are one, two. Maybe you are. Maybe you
like the Saturday Night Live ending where you fade, where you fade out, out during the right. credits. During We'd like to thank wow. you for Chili Pepper. That was an Jeter. epic yeah. tune. Thanks, Thanks man. Thank Erica, you, did that you, did that tune uh, make you fall in love with this man? Is that, is that do we have that tune no. to thank? No, that one no. was a miss. That was a swing and a miss. To be honest, though, it did. I mean, it, it worked. It just didn't work the night it worked. I, I mean, see. the night the night it was presented. It's also right. much better now. Uh, Adam came into our band on January 30th, 2017, and the man knows how to groove, and he just that's a blues. It's right <laughs> up Adam's alley, and uh, he added this like um, so. It's in 12, two, two, three, two, two, three, two, two, or it's six, whichever you want to call it. But Adam uh, clarified the groove in it mm -hmm. when he started playing. Tit, 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 tit. So, so we used to play it like chit, 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 and Adam plays like a little. How do you describe it? Da, 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 da. I, I swing it. You're talking about a, a but you're straight swing. You're Give swing us an example, least. Adam. Show the people what yeah, we're please. talking about. It's a sexy I swing. I think you're talking about. Right. That's what you added to it. Where Versus. I, exactly. I feel uh, like that's what we were doing before, and yeah. now it's way cooler. Grooves like it's better. very different to play guitar. It grooves better, and that's so like much more fun to sing. Yeah. It's Adam's strength, I think, is like gro obviously groovy as drummer, but just that type of swing and blues, and it brought it to a whole different level. I'm very excited mm. about how that sounded. I loved the build in that, how it just kind of went right up. You know, I have to say also here, we played Adam in the van like a year ago, uh, Poco's Deliverin' mm. for the first time. Do you remember that, Adam? We are like, you got to listen to this album. Yep, sure do. And there's a tune, one of the tunes on that album, I think it's anyway bye bye. It is. Um, builds like that, and I always it now finally works. I love that yes. build and yes. crest. It does. It really does. Oh, it's absolutely gorgeous. Let me share. A lot of people love that song. We have great harmony and great chemistry coming from Amy Fega. That's my mom. Hi, Amy. mom. How Hi, are mom. you? Hey, mom. <laughs> Shout out to everyone's mom <laughs> watching. If you're uh, a mom watching, yeah. what's up? Hey, We're mom rock. That's our genre. Moms, moms are mom rock. represented mom here. And I wanted to ask you about that. Was that you, Nate, or was it Adam who hashtag mom rocked this show? That, that's was, our, that would, I, I did that. Adam. That's a, yeah. Is that, that's, that's a thing genre. for you guys? That, you know how Wilco is dad rock? dad rock? There's all this dad rock stuff? Yeah. We're similar. But just for the moms. I mean, not just for the moms. But we're mom rock. But we're it's just a little better. Yeah. I guess moms like three-part harmony, I guess. Maybe that's they a like more it. They love it. The moms love it. And epic <laughs> builds. Yeah. And, and cool hi-hat patterns. Love it's, yeah, it's just Nate, really. Um, hey, moms, I love you, too. <laughs> Greg Duncan is commenting a lot. He says he loves your song, Leaving Jackson. I don't know if oh, we have time for that Greg. one today, but maybe, maybe you can squeak it in somewhere. Um, <laughs> Uh, let's see who who else. Barry Solomon is plugging your show. Of course, we'll say again. Love him. You have uh, the empty pockets. If you like what you're hearing, folks, you can see them streaming live every Wednesday. The second season of their live stream show begins on the fifteenth. Do you have Very a excited. Do you have a name for your show? We've been calling it Weekly Online Concert. What do you think? <laughs> <laughs> It could could use a little work, but yeah. um, we'll, <laughs> we'll, we will we will sub, we will uh, receive suggestions for season. Yeah, we're gonna two. have to work. All right, that was a really nice way to say. It. Submit <laughs> your suggestions for <laughs> what the empty work. pockets should call their <laughs> weekly live stream. I show. really like what you have called this. Yeah, this is nice. The sound booth. The session. sound booth sessions, because of course I am in a sound booth. Um, you know, it was difficult because like I didn't want to address the lockdown or the quarantine or mm -hmm. the disease virus in any yeah. way so yeah we just sort of went with straight to the point concert. weekly <laughs> online concert <laughs> but you're right you're you're not wrong the name could use some work <laughs> i uh, i lobbied for adam belasco's family feed bag and fun time hour and <laughs> i was shut down pretty hard it, it's just a little long if you I could just give me another draft yeah. of that one and, and <laughs> the initials already, don't really work i already took it's so much good out. it's good i like where you're headed i like where you're headed <laughs> it's just it's so short already. How else can we workshop this it. idea? How else can we workshop? Let's roll it around. Um, <laughs> so I'll tell you what. Is there? Can we hear some new uh, stuff from the new record? Is there yeah. any? Is yeah. any? I, I understand this. That last song was one of your oldest songs. Is that right? It was yeah. on one of your first records. I mean, must have been 14 years ago. Wow. Right, that's when Eric and I met. Yeah. From from the old to the new. Let's hear one of the new ones. All right. This is called Daylight. <laughs> be on our new album. Maybe next time. Maybe out this year.
the time And the overtone sounded in my ear I was inspired by passion but I froze with fear Freedom's ring, it comes at what cost That was Daylight on the next album that will be out sometime in the future by the Empty <laughs> Pockets. How are you guys Thank doing you. over there? You okay? We're, We're discussion. fighting. We're fight. <laughs> We're We're fighting fight. on camera. <laughs> that is the funniest thing. I'm so sorry to be laughing at your. Uh, <gasps> no, it's no, that's why I said it. I figured it was good. entertaining. Crazy over here. But it's like in the context of like the bridge put, of a song, it's like she put her I know stand, those looks. I didn't realize she put her stand across me. So then she was like looking at me, and then I told her she had the wrong chord. But I uh, did it. Honey, it's a and G. I was it's a G. But she chord. was right, honey. and I was wrong. But it was freaking me out. 
I didn't know that was gonna be there. And I was like, why? Was, why would you? Why would you say I'm making a mistake awesome, in the mic when I'm awesome, not? Because I can't. Kill you. This awesome thing happened the other day. We went to the Foxhole, which <gasps> we loved. This loved. great place. We did a live stream, <gasps> and this other couple. But very similar to Eric and I. Was My good friend Darcy and her boyfriend Barry. We watched them interact just <laughs> like this, and I went, "Oh my God!" Shoot, so I I they see do myself. That too. It's so f- <laughs> guys, let me break up the tension here. We've had some great submissions for what you should be calling your your. We have uh, already. Oh, oh. We have yes, and there are good okay. ones. We have. I'm, I'm already excited. Okay, Linda Wilk Calkins uh, oh, says, yeah. "What's up, Linda?" Uh, Tepic. The Empty Pockets Interweb Concert, T E P S E. Excellent. Wait, did, I wonder if she knows that we love the word interweb because yeah. we do. I think she does. I think that's a. Well, name that rest. was in response to I Greg Duncan's it. submission, Interweb <laughs> Music Time Concert. <laughs> oh boy, now that's a name. Interweb <laughs> Music Time that's, Concert. That's a winner. That's that a keeper. Aimed right at me. And I can't believe cool. Netflix. <laughs> let me check my phone and see if Netflix has texted yet. <laughs> that's a good. These don't indicate they the greenlit. frequency with which we do these streams. Though, You're right. Which was a crucial part of our our. Our current name. You're absolutely right, but the weekly section. I, the Netflix has not contacted me. I saved me my yet. personal <laughs> favorite for last. Robbie Fisher submits empty V. Oh, oh god! Oh, I yeah. can't believe we missed that. It. Like that's wow. the one. Like empty V. No, wow. that's perfect. That's that's, that's MTV. It. Stop digging. It's you've empty V. Somebody once asked me if I was the. That's em- that's somebody genius. Somebody once asked me if I was the empty pocket, and I was horrified. Empty V is genius. Wow. I, I <laughs> often get confused for Carson Daly, so it it really I can does. See it. And I it get works. confused for Miles Davis. Yes, Uncanny. This all works. This is good. This is good content, guys. <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry to report that apparently in this area there is some cell service issues, and so some people are having internet issues. But I have to tell you, from from the things that I can see, our stream uh, is rock solid all the way through. Daniel, are these like saved? Can people watch nice. them later? Yeah, there. So, folks, if you're having connectivity issues, you can come back. What a great segue, Josh. Thank you. What a great um, segue. You can come back here to Facebook anytime and watch these videos. They live on the Sellersville Theater Facebook page. Uh, they are also going to live in a higher quality, even higher than this quality, over on YouTube. If you just go over to YouTube Whoa. and search Sound Boost Sessions, uh, you'll find the full archive of all the episodes we've done. Um, and, you know, I have this idea to maybe turn it into a podcast, too, because, like, the audio Ooh. the audio on these is... Is solid. It's so spicy. Like maybe it should also be a podcast too. But yeah. um, so what are you going to be doing in season two of uh, MTV, the interweb mm-hmm. music hour featuring the empty We're pockets? Well, this, you've uh, changed our you've changed our whole thing, man. Yeah, <laughs> you changed it because uh, we've never been able to connect to this high quality audio with a guest. Okay. And our dream on Wednesdays was to bring in guests. Okay. So we're going to use this Source Connect technology that you've introduced us to. Shout and start out to bringing Source in Connect. Guests. Yeah. 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 Thanks, Source Connect. So that's I'm really excited about that, bringing in guests uh, for season two. Okay. We never intended on calling it season one, but then we ended up doing 14 of them. And we were like, I believe like that's a season. A season. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like a season to me. <laughs> right. Yeah, Actually, you said you've done 10, uh, which I was also very our, impressed our, fina- our season finale is on, on Wednesday. It's June 24th. What is it today? It's Friday. Mm-hmm. So we have Catherine okay. Legendary on, our first guest, our first guest with wow. high-quality audio from Austin, Texas. And so that'll be a fun show. a great singer-songwriter, so I'm very Excellent. excited. I'm a personal fan. So that's on our, on our Facebook. Page and on Twitch and on YouTube, it's everywhere. And what's on the Wednesdays format of your show? Is it is it uh, songs all the way through? Do you do some do some talking? Yeah, it's a lot like. Can you this. imagine us doing a show without talking? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that would suit us. Um, we do it a lot like this. We we try to chat with whoever's on the internet. We yeah. have a, a beautiful and talented and brilliant concierge for the for the show. We have a you. Diane. We have a oh, you who sits point. at her house uh, right near us, and she sort of um, keeps track of what's going on. She's our host on the internet. She's she our host. Reigns, you guys. She breaks up the tension when you start. She does that too. Yeah. yeah. She's well, she just would pick Erica's side. That's true. <laughs> she which doesn't is, break I mean, any tension. <laughs> and you should expect that. Frankly. Absolutely. <laughs> Excellent. Erica right in this situation? <laughs> Adam. The Thanks for pointing it out. It depends on... I appreciate it. it the, the, the sheet music that was in question is to the right of me. If that's what you mean, <laughs> yeah. then I agree. That's what I meant. <laughs> well, friends at home, if you like what you're hearing, please, of course, make sure that you check out the Empty Pockets on their weekly... Uh, their weekly show, 3 p.m., over on their Facebook page. Uh, the address is that way. All of the socials, very conveniently, at the Empty Pockets. Of course, there's also PayPal and Ven- Venmo, where you can go uh, uh, give them a generous tip. 
there was this twenty dollars suggested donation because you know if you were buying a ticket to see this live, you know it'd be at least twenty dollars. So this this show is is coming to you for free or for um, for no cost. So pay what you please. Uh, we're counting on you. I've the yeah, seller- if you send us one hundred eighty dollars, we'll send you a mug just like WTTW. Oh, I was just gonna say we were gonna buy another adapter. Yeah, we'll buy an adapter and I'll send you a mug. So for for every one hundred eighty dollars, what doesn't WTW have those like absurd sure. like yeah, for three sixty? They'll give you the tote bag, right? The, yeah, the mug and then the squeeze toy if you want. Yeah, so <laughs> we'll, not for we'll, squeezing. Guys, let's we'll see if we can s- squeeze. Speaking of squeezing, let's squeeze in a few more tunes here. Uh, squeeze. B- before, uh, well, we're not going to run out of time. I'm not even going to say we're running out of time. I just mean, let's squeeze in a few more tunes. Let's give these people some yeah. more songs. I mean, like, let's squeeze them, baby. Let's squeeze them, baby. Let's, let's, let's squeeze them. This is I Am Strong from Voices sung by Erica. And here's what Voices looks like when you go looking for it on the internet. <laughs> Just a notion of what the roads I've been blown by the wind across the ocean. Now I find the path that lies before me is of my choosing. It's by design, it's by design. to break through the resistance and the bruising. When all my problems come knocking at my door. You think I'm too weak to handle anymore You can watch me get up off the floor, yeah singing it Love you should hear the recording that. i do okay thanks dude no, I, I like your version put I erica add some some some, some pipes some that was i am strong off voices guys that was great 
Thank you so much for doing this. I am so thrilled to have had you here. This was such a fun little experiment we put together, and I, I think this was this has been a blast. So. It seemed to work, yeah. right? We, we did right? a sound check yesterday, and we all were all getting nervous. We did it. We were all sweating, and we we're did like, it. sweating. Is this possible? We all thought in the middle of that sound check, nope, it's not possible. And we did have we a mo are. we had the darkest the the night is darkest before the dawn and then here we are. <laughs> we had that a, moment. A I new like day. That multiple times throughout the sound check, uh all of us were worried about our computers melting. Melting down. <laughs> we were like, I don't know if this, <laughs> is this machine can handle this. That's right. We said that. It's like I think this thing is gonna explode. I think it's uh, I'm gonna lose it. <laughs> Well, guys, we I'm did so it. Thrilled. Thank you very much uh, for being here. This was such a blast. I, I, I had an absolute pl pleasure listening to you play and sing, and your harmonies are just unreal. Um, Thanks, man. Good luck with your new album, uh, and, and good luck with the new season of your new show. Um, and uh, I don't know. Let's do this again sometime. Like, I mean, we should well, do it. Definitely. We should do it in person. But then also, like, yeah. this was really fun. So, like, we'll yeah. do the podcast too. We'll do the podcast. Yeah. Uh, you know, dude, you're a great host. It was so I fun talking to you. It's fun seeing you in real life great. too. Yes. Uh, when we're back at Sellersville, that will be amazing. We're gonna party really hard when we see each other. Can't wait to have you back. Well, listen. What <laughs> what what song are you gonna play to to take us out of here? We're gonna please play something about right now. I wrote it about uh, the pandemic, and I called it very cleverly, Pandemic. Oh, I I'll see. One of your very topical tunes, you, what you said, quarantine. Very topical. <laughs> As you know from the weekly online concert title, I love uh, just you know, telling it like quarantine, it is. Quarantine, pandemic, <laughs> masks. And this Indeed. is Pandemic. This is called Pandemic. Here we go. I wrote a song Turned out anthemic, but there are no people at the stadiums today. And even on the soft side of this pandemic, I wish that it would get up and go away. Oh, wish that it would get up and go away. Appreciate you. Show, folks, thank you very much to the Empty Pockets. 
That's Josh and Erica and Adam and Nate. And let's not forget Soundman Dan. That's their Soundman Dan, not this Soundman Dan. Their Soundman Dan on their side. You did a great job, everybody. Great show. Uh, folks, thank you very much for tuning in at home. Make sure to visit their social media presence and uh, PayPal, Venmo. Be as generous as you can. And, of course, your likes, your clicks, your comments, it all is extremely valuable to us. Thank you for being here. Thank you for supporting Sound Boost Sessions. Next week, Saturday at 9 p.m., Jeffrey Gaines is going to be here live on stage. Whoa! I'm I'm hey really, I'm really excited. I can't believe it. So, uh, so that's coming up. So I hope to see you here next week. Um, and of course, we're here every Saturday for the foreseeable future. Uh, if you want to support Sellersville Theater in the Washington House Restaurant, please visit us on our socials. Visit our website. Uh, the Washington House is uh, is as of the last week now uh, serving people on the patio. So come on out. That's going to be great. Uh, we've, we're still doing to-go orders, still doing to-go um, six packs to go. And, uh, you know, we're going to be doing everything we can here. We're exploring the live stream technology. Uh, we have our first real um, on-stage full live stream concert that isn't a sound booth session with Danelia Cotton uh, next, Saturday, uh, next Friday as well. I know, it's a lot going on. It's all very confusing. Just visit us on the website, and we'll see you there. Thanks for being here. Uh, goodbye and good night. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Love you all. <laughs>